Hello, Mimi here, and I'm back with my second tutorial on my uh, part two to my flip through junk journals. And I have got my signature sewed in. Uh, just got that done. i um, got all my scrapbook paper on my flip throughs, made them with some um, envelopes. And I'm fixing to start working on some embellishments, some ephemera that I'm gonna be adding to my flip through books. And I am making some popsicle sticks that I have stamped with some really pretty egg Easter stamps. Um, there's my mini cupcake holders I'm doing my popsicle sticks with and some eggs. I also have some um, tags that I'm working on that I'm in put embellishing up and going to add some belly bands to my uh, flip through junk journal. So there's several little things I'm going to be working on. I'm just going to let y'all um, craft with me or follow along and um, just going to show you how I make some embellishments. These are some paper roses that I've had for about, oh my gosh, three or four years. I bought it Michael's on that little dollar rack. Never used them because they were always too tall. I mean, I couldn't put them in anything. So I actually smushed one by accident and said, oh, okay, hello, just smush them down. And I just scrunched on them and then took the big pearl out of there and voila, I can use them now. So I was so excited that to something that I bought and I finally can figure out how to use it. I know it takes me a while. Um, most people have already figured that out, but anyway, I finally figured out I could uh, smush these down and still make beautiful rosettes out of them and either embellish them with some smaller pearls or some other embellishments. So um, that just popped out really easy. And there you see me uh, smushing them down and getting them all ready for my junk journals. Um, when you're doing a junk journal, you have to really be careful on your embellishments and stuff, uh, not making them too thick because um, the book will get huge. So um, I've learned that through hard lessons. And so here we go. Um, the tags that I'm making, I have um, already did some stenciling on this one tag and I'm gonna show you um, how I stenciled this other one. And uh, just take a, any stencil, you know, you can buy these pretty much anywhere, Walmart, Michaels. Michaels has a really good variety of them. Um, I'm just using this um, Tim Holtz stain here. Uh, Miss Cox has done recent a video on how she's using the uh, makeup brushes that are the blending brushes to use on the stencils. And I did look at those when I was at Walmart the other day and um, probably gonna buy some in the future because I think they're really gonna be a really good added uh, tool to my crafts. Uh, but you know, can't buy everything at once. We have to kind of space it out a little bit. So um, here is my mini cupcake holders that I have cut up and made into like little flowerettes and I'm gonna glue them on there. And I thought this just looked so cute um, on these tags. These are some pink tags that I picked up. And um, I think I got these at, I can't remember actually, uh, might've been Michael's or I don't know where I bought these, but anyway, they were just cute. Sometimes it's fun to buy tags that are already made up. Um, so anyway, I'm adding some, the cupcake holders to them. And I have already made some pops, uh, oh, what are they called? Those right there. Um, they call them the something lids. Oh my gosh, I can't think of what it is all of a sudden. Pop, uh, Oh my gosh, soda pop lids, something like that. Anyway, I've already, these have little cute little um, pictures in there. That's one of, I think it's a angel there holding some eggs. And I'm putting a little paper flower down on there. And I had, was going to glue this down and I ended up gluing it down. But I thought, no, I was going to magnetize it, put it on there so it could be removed. But I think I ended up gluing it down, uh, as you will see when I show you these finished books. Um, these books I'm, I'm making up are going to be for sale in my Etsy store. Really cute, turned out. I love the Easter theme. 
uh, use TLC Creates um, scrapbook paper, kit, digital kits in there, and uh, just some coordinated scrapbook paper that I, I had used. Got some um, images off of, um, at uh, Pinterest. And I just, I had these mini cupcake holders from, I bought them years ago and have used them, you know, making the cupcakes with the grandkids and stuff. And so um, when I made those popsicle sticks, I thought, oh, I'm gonna try these little mini ones out. And they really work too. Um, I had some smaller popsicle sticks. So those work good on the smaller ones. So if you wanna try it out um, and you can use them in, you know, whatever. I mean, I'm using it on a tag. So, um, you know, sometimes it's fun to be able to use your household kitchen stuff and other things that you wouldn't normally use in your crafts. And um, I thought these turned out really cute and I'm using that little flower there that I did the smushing on and uh, the little gold tips there on that flower, uh, you're gonna sh I'm gonna show you here in a minute. I had recently bought some, I think it's, um, it's kind of a gold polish. Got it from Amazon. Um, Girl on the Ridge, here it is. Let's see, what is that called? Um, metallic gilding, gilded polish and uh, gilding polish. I got that from Amazon. The Girl on the Ridge did a little tutorial on them uh, back, I think it's before Christmas, and I got that one in a uh, pearl finish. And you can use them to kind of enhance um, anything. She put them on all kinds of stuff, and it really kind of just makes your stuff pop a little bit. So I try to remember to use it occasionally, and I thought it looked pretty on the on these flowers. It just kind of gave them a little bit more pizzazz. So uh, that's just an idea to, um, you know, something that that does that you could you can use it on just about anything really and um, i'm adding it a little bit to there too and i thought it turned out really cute and i like the way it it kind of just adds to your your stuff and that's it's easy to work with and it that little sponge thing that, that comes with the kit it at washes up right out looks brand new so it's really I like it because it's an easy cleanup, and a lot of stuff we get, you know, it's not, especially Fibertac glue. <laughs> I get that all over my fingers. I can't stand that stuff, but I, I love it, but I can't stand it. It just is such a mess, but it really works well on a lot of your, on a lot of things, so I tend to keep using it, and, um, but anyway, there you go. I'm showing you how you can apply it to different, different things. And these really turned out cute. I love the way they just, the colors kind of look so cute um, together. And I'm putting a pearl in the middle of that and just kind of, the pearl kept jumping back out. I, I'm sure I had fabric tech glue on my fingers, you know. <laughs> but I, it just kept popping back out. So I guess it didn't want to go on there. So I tried uh, several other things, but you know, you can, you could add embellishments to these, just something that's not very tall. There's a little button that I could, you could put on it or I'm gonna come up with a little yellow rose to kind of bring in the, the yellow Easter eggs. I wind up and not put anything on it, actually, um, I don't think. So, um, but there's my tags. I thought they were so cute, and adding those little bottle pop um, embellishments that I love to use in collages. I think they're so cute. And they're such a cute little add to, especially you can put like um, um, different uh, eyelash trims behind them. I think they're really pretty. I love eyelash trim. Oh my goodness. This is a cute little, um, just a little pocket. It's kind of like a little envelope or something. I sewed that together and um, I'm going to glue that on there. But I thought it, it's going to look really cute in my little flip flip through book. And um, I love making these little pockets up out of just odd things, um, these little envelopes or that you can get. And they just, I don't know, they just, to me, they're so cute and I love making them up. And I think they really add to uh, a junk journal or anything that you're making really. And I like to kind of take and sew stuff at, sometimes on an angle. So um, anyway, I'm us using that there on that pocket and it's, you're gonna see how pretty it looks, the finished product. So I'm hopefully gonna get that film today or tomorrow. 
I'm having a really hard time uploading my videos right now. So, um, I know a lot of us go through that aggravations. If you don't have good Wi-Fi, and um, I'm not in an area that we really do, and sometimes it works super good, and sometimes it is creepy crawly, and it doesn't work worth a flip. So, they are... I love those little embellishments there. That's some little crochet embellishments my mother had gotten um, from uh, Miss Alice that is a good crocheter, and she, uh, my mom gave me some of them. And here is my, um, I'm showing you there the little um, stamps that I had. These are my only Easter stamps. I probably, I have no idea where I got them from, um, but I'm finally getting to use them, so they're so cute. And I'm fixing to do these popsicle sticks up. And those are some eggs that came with um, Calico, Calico Collage has a freebie page on her website. And if you go there, she has a really cute Easter um, page that she's she has several different things on there. Um, you can download all of them. But it's really cute. She, I love her digital downloads. And I'm just kind of showing you how you can turn it on the back and put another one on there to kind of give it a, a finished look. I do that later. But um, I'm using two on the front of that popsicle stick and kind of layering them so uh, the purple shows out a little bit. And then I'm taking the eyelash trim that's kind of multicolor and I'm putting it on the back kind of like... When you put um, an egg in an Easter egg basket, I thought it was kind of cute how the, it looked like the grass peeking through. So, um, using my hot glue gun here to put this project together, and uh, it turns out really cute. And I just love these little eggs that, like I said, I got these from uh, Calico, Calico Collage, and she has beautiful stuff. So, check that out if you're. Uh, needing some Easter stuff. Um, she's got a page of really cute that and tags and some two by three um, pictures. And uh, I'm pulling out the eyelash trim so it can kind of peek through on the edges. You know, after I got to looking at this um, video, I was thinking another way you could have put the eyelash trim is in between the two um, cupcakes. So, uh, you could have put it through there and it, it would have probably looked good too so might do that next time but these turned out really pretty and uh you could even paint the popsicle sticks i started to paint them uh, like maybe a purple or a green but um it had so much color going on so i decided no let's just do it up like i did the other ones i made and i do have a tutorial on these if you're interested they were real popular um I'm sure people have done them many times, but um, I just recently did a tutorial up on them and I had um, a lot of good feedback on it. A lot of people really, really liked them. I think it's because they're so easy to make and they just add a little fun to your project. I, I don't care what you're doing. Even if you're not doing, um, you know, junk journals or, you know, whatever, it, just sticking them in even a, a flower arrangement would be cute. So, um, that's an idea. Anyway, you could just stick them in anything, you know, your kids' projects, do them up for your kids. So, uh, it would work really good. But, um, I'm downloading a video, I mean, a YouTube on my laptop, and it's acting crazy over here. I don't know what it's doing, making noises at me. But anyway, I'm showing you that, um, like I said, just to kind of cover up the, the bright white on the back, I'm kind of putting some stain on the back of it. And uh, you kind of got to be careful there because you see how I tore a little piece of it off. You know, this is paper thin, um, probably not meant to be abused like I'm abusing it. So it didn't really matter because it's not going to show, but, um, you know, you just have to be kind of cautious about it. So, uh, but that right there shows you just, you know, if you want to put something on the back of it, you know, you could even put scrapbook paper on the back of it, be just cute. And here's another one I'm going to do up. This one is uh, got a little different 
um, egg to it. It's a really cute egg, has a Easter bunny on there and has a lot of purple colors to it. So I'm putting the purple cupcake holder on it and adding some more eyelash trim. Oh, isn't that cute? I just love that Easter bunny on there. And some more eyelash trim as for my grass. And I glue that down and voila, we've got a beautiful finished added feature to our junk journal. I love the way these turned out. They're so cute. And like I said, they're so easy to make. So try one and um, you can do all kinds of things with them. So that's just another little, little idea I had. And I'm gonna add some little buttons on there to kind of just, I thought they were cute, to put a little couple of buttons on the top of them. So um, I've got my set of buttons here that I got from Amazon. What would I do without Amazon? Miss Coggs uses these in her crafts, um, and she told about these buttons. You get a whole bunch of buttons. I think I didn't pay too much for them, like 10 or $12 for all these buttons, and they're coming in assorted colors, and I really like them. They're real cute. They're small, though. Um, I'm not much for sewing buttons on. I find that task to be very um, tedious. So I usually just glue them on. I, I hate sewing buttons on. I don't know why. Okay, here's a belly band that I'm going to use. And um, I'm going to put that on my junk journal. I was, I've was i been in doing some embellishments on my part one tutorial. And I'm finishing up with my belly bands here. I have used some extra scrap put paper that I had. And adding some pockets and some belly bands so I can do some more embellishing on my little flip throughs that I did. I just really like the way these turned out. The colors on them turned out really great. I love this scrapbook paper I used. It's Bow Bunny. I got it from Tuesday morning. And I just love the way that they take the, the pinks and the browns and put them together. And then the greens, um, it just spoke to me Easter and um, spring. So I thought it would re look really good with my Easter theme junk journals here that I'm working on. And I've, first time I've ever done a Easter theme junk journal. I'm really not much for decorating for Easter, but I will put some pictures at the end of this of my Easter three-tiered galvanized, um, really tall three-tiered thing that I got from Hobby Lobby. I had one and gave it to my mother because it was not as tall and I it didn't really have space for it in my new house. So um, I gave it to her. Well, I found one that I can actually put on the ground and I wanted to, I started noticing all these people decorating these three tiered galvanized um, baskets. And so I was like, oh my gosh, mom, I want mine back. Well, I decided that no, I didn't want it back. It was still too big for me to use on, on my cabinets. So I found this one that was the same price. It was a tall one. I mean, it stood up about three foot. And um, it was the same price as the smaller one. So I decided to get it and I have decorated it with Easter stuff. It turned out so cute. And my idea is to change it up in um, different seasons and use it in my craft room as my inspiration when I'm doing junk journals and stuff. So y'all will probably be seeing a lot of it because I'll be fixing it up cute. And um, it just really, I love it. It's so cute. And my grandsons helped me decorate it. I was got them in there and I said, y'all help me decorate this right quick. And um, I bought some really cute Easter bunnies. I got some really cheap at a craft mall that we have here and um, they had them on half price. And to my grandson, I said, here, take these and set these over here, don't break them. Well, I don't know what happened, but he broke one. So <laughs> I told him, I said, oh, well, it's okay. I didn't pay much for it, but guess what? Mimi will glue it back because I glue back everything. 
I mean, I don't throw nothing away. I always get my super glue out. Me and my grandson had super glue all over our fingers, but we got it glued back, most of it anyway. You can't, you can't even tell. That's mainly on the bottom anyway. So, all right. Well, thank y'all so much for watching, and I do appreciate it. And thank y'all so much for letting me just chatter on. Y'all have a blessed day and enjoy the video.